Latent Forge, Stim Pack, and Cutting Corners, guys. Cutting Corners, huh? I heard it's pretty bad. Stim Pack, Blood, Blood Many. I meant to reroll it. <laughs> I meant to reroll it. <laughs> huh? Am I dumb? I meant to reroll it. And I just clicked it, man. I'm dumb as frick, guys. Who cares, though? I know I just sold Sentinel, but I don't want, like, I don't care about Sentinel. I, I want to keep the Cassante in case I find a Heartsteel Headliner Aphelios, right? A Heartsteel Headliner Aphelios, and then we would have to ditch the Cassante, and then we can get five Heartsteel that way, right? If I find a Yoni, like, imagine I find a Yoni now, and then I find a Heartsteel Headliner Aphelios, right? But not a regular Aphelios. Ah, if I sell this guy, I'm still four Heartsteel. But if I if I have a new Cassante, my heart still GG. Yeah, I meant to reroll it. I don't know. I heard it's not that good in the in the statistics, but I'll I'll try it. Like I like these level up augments, right? Holy frick, I found a regular Aphelios. I'm just gonna play her. She's pretty good for damage. She's gonna deal some damage. I mean I just need a Yoni. We win the game or what? <laughs> we win the game, GG. For free. Also, what are these items, man? Like, what do I do? I could go Adaptive Helm, Vex, play Vex reroll, but do we really want that? No. I think we're going even Shroud, tank item, blue buff, play Ezreal. Do we play Ezreal though? We have the hard steel Giga Cash out, so don't we just play a reroll comp again? We can play a cozy reroll comp. The question is which reroll comp do we play? Maybe MF, but probably not with these items. Uh, what reroll comp do we play? I mean, we have we have cutting corners. We're not playing a reroll comp, right? No way. Someone's asking if MF is better than Vex. I don't think so. I think the Vex stun is so insane. Vex's stun is just too insane, man. Do you think Sentinel is better than Aphelios? Like, Aphelios is a really bad unit, but we have a lot of frontline, so I think it's fine. Also, I'm, I'm even thinking going Gargoyles here, man. Like, Gargoyles can save so much HP, man. And I'm just going for the cash out, no. I'm just going for the Giga cash out, but the thing is, if I... I mean, I'm winning this fight anyway, so who cares? The thing is, if I go for the Giga cash out, right? The, the raise the stakes cash out. Then I don't really want gargoyles on him because I need him on my board. And then I might win if I have him. But I can always put him in the corner. I can always put him in the corner. Yeah. Could be a Katarina game. We're on a win streak with hard steel. That is insane, guys. And cutting corners. That's a little bit too insane, isn't it? I mean, we know what we take here. Also, I'm third pick. There's no Yone. I was gonna say, we know what we take if there's a Yone. So, uh, I'm third pick. Um, even though I have 100 health, again, something that we got lucky in. Okay, I don't know why I took this, man. I should've taken Rod. But honestly, nah, 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 we take Sword, we take Sword, man. Rod is so bad here. Like, I I'm not playing an AP comp, I think. I just level because I'm on a win streak. Play this, I guess. I have two MFs. I have two MFs. I'm not raising, by the way. I'm not raising the stakes, guys. We're definitely not raising the stakes. It's dumb as frick if you're on a win streak. If you're on a win streak, you just enjoy the win streak. I think I'm going Bramble, right? I mean, Bramble is good. Why is everyone lost streaking, man? This guy's playing Kedrina reroll. Hard committed. Yeah, we can't raise the stakes, guys. It's not worth. We're on a win streak. I would have to sell a lot of units to make myself weaker. And that is never worth, right? We just, we just cash out after it again. We just go on another cash out. 
on another uh, thing, yeah. On another heart seal the journey. Can definitely not uh, raise the stakes, it's dumb as frick. Trust me. Uh, I can make 30 here, and I'm not playing a reroll comp. I'm not playing MF reroll, so I think I'm just making 30. I can sell this. I can play this instead of this, but I don't even know if that's worth. I feel like she does a lot. I feel like Vex is doing a lot. Look at this damage of Vex, man. She's doing the most damage out of everybody. And then this guy is also very weak. He's he's raising the stakes, see? Like, I would have just lost here. I would have just... Like, I didn't scout. Obviously, I would have scouted if I was considering raising the stakes. And then I would have seen that. And then I wouldn't have raised the stakes anyway. So I, I should really say that, right? I should really say, look, I... I want to keep the Senna, rather... Okay, we got Yone. We're win streaking with full win streak with hard steel with 30 gold in the bank. I mean, this is just filthy, guys. This is just filthy. We have um, cutting corners as well. <laughs> just well deserved, man. Like it is well deserved, isn't it? Like didn't we low roll all freaking weekend and all freaking um, like until yesterday? Basically, I rolled low rolled like four days. In a row, no cap. Probably cool people. Probably not, man. I mean, honestly, I just wasn't playing Ezreal. I just didn't want to play Ezreal. Now I play Ezreal whenever I can, and I'm winning. Wow. Wow, guys. Interesting, huh? How that works. When the patch is bad, you play the one thing that's beyond broken, and then you win. Interesting. Should have kept uh, the guy. Oh, blue buff. Nice. GG. Even trap blue buff, I mean. Like, call it, uh, just wrap it up, guys. It's a force. But this is like a giga force, you know? This is like, I can't even lose. Like, how do I even lose this, man? <laughs> like, what? I mean, I can lose if I don't hit a single Ezreal. Okay, I mean, now, now it's really hard to lose, man. Now it's honestly just really freaking hard to lose. Like, what? How am I high rolling so hard now? Huh? What the hell? Oh my god! GG! I don't even need to scout, I'm so strong. Do I sell this to make 50? I don't think so. Two star set is two star set. It's a big difference. And we, we're on a win streak, right? So we don't sell our pairs if we're on a win streak. New Cassante, you're right. Thank you. We will need a new Cassante. Thank you, thank you, sir. Because if we get a hard steel, um, Ezreal, and maybe a Kane, that's seven hard steel. Ding, ding, ding. We win the game. But we need a new Cassante for it. Thank you, thank you, sir. Inspiring Epitaph is good. Capricious Forge is okay, but not that good. Inspiring Epitaph is good. Portable Forge is also really good. Can give me a lot of good items. I think it's Portable Forge. It's definitely the best here. Mana Zane. Is Mana Zane good with blue buff? No, right? I think it's just Hull Crusher. I, I, I don't think you want Mana Zane if you already have blue buff. But I might be wrong. I might be dead wrong. I do not freaking know. 28 to level. It's definitely worth. Play Ari, she's good. She's gonna kill some more units. On a win streak, so just keep leveling. You can mana Zane Zed. True. True, true, true. Could have mana Zane Zed. But I mean, the thing is, uh, looking at the context, this is insane, right? Like, for, to keep the win streak, this is definitely better than mana Zane, I think. I mean, mana Zane on her wouldn't be that bad. I don't know. She doesn't have true damage, though. I don't know. We need an Echo, right? Did I sell an Echo? I feel like I sold an Echo. I don't know if I'm wrong. Oh, that is such an unlucky fight. Because she was about to ult. She had full mana. And then she got CC'd. I don't even know how, though. What a freaking stupid fight. That was really annoying. Because, like, how does she not ult? She, she, had, she had full mana for, like, a long time. Isn't this crazy how much of a hard steal cash out I'm getting, despite not even being on a lost streak? It's just five hard steal win streak, and then I lost one, and then boom, instantly I get an 80 cash out. Frick, 
that is not good. Oh, he has Jewel Lotus as well, so he can go Giga Abyss freaking... Instead of Jewel Gauntlet, he can go Rabadons, and then she's gonna one-shot everything. Oh, I, I, I... Okay, he might actually win the game. He can go Rabadons. She's gonna one-shot everything, guys. Oh, boy. Ooh, that's gonna be crazy. Rabadons is such a good item on Karina. But usually you want Jewel Gauntlet and Double Hodge for the insane lifesteal. It seems like bl blue buff Mana Zane IE is as good as Sniper's Focus blue buff IE. Okay, so Mana Zane would have been good on Ezreal. Okay, thank you. I, I li Like, the item we took is perfectly fine, though. We almost got a 100 cash out. We didn't get it. Almost got the 100. Sad. Two, two stacks behind. Unfortunate. It's gonna be hard to get my item here. Maybe not. Nice, we got our item. We got our Infinity Edge. Okay, we got the two most important items on Ezreal. We would like a red buff as a last. That is, of course, the best Ezreal build. But the red buff is not as important as Infinity Edge and uh, blue buff. Those are truly the most important. We are very happy to see another sword. Don't worry, because we are still... We need Bloodthirster, Edge of Night, and Giant Slayer on Zen. This comp needs infinite swords, so... Don't worry about it. We are so freaking rich, man. Ah, that is just beautiful. I might even just go Fast 9. I, like, I have 5 hard steel. I'm just going Fast 9, right? I'm not even gonna roll on 8. I'm just going 9. GG. Hey, the Kidarina guy is in the chat. He's listening to my freaking advice about... Leave the chat. I'm gonna ban you, man. You're cheating, man. Stop listening to me. What the frick? He was gonna go Jewel Gauntlet, you freaking noob. And the chat tells him to go Rabadons, and now he says, Cheers, everyone. Cheers, everyone. You freaking stupid poodle. Oh, wait, he's the Formula One enjoyer, Yuki Tsunoda. Ah, you get a pass, man. Formula One enjoyer, you get a freaking pass. But frick you, man, close the stream. Close the stream, you animal. What is wrong with this guy, man? Cheers, everyone. You know what? We were trolling, the Twitch chat was trolling you. It's not Rabadons, man. The best item on Katarina now is Crown Guard. It gives her a bunch of AP, and it's gonna give her a shield so she doesn't die. Trust me, man. And some armor against the Ezreals. Trust me. Twitch chat. Twitch chat. Tell him that. Twitch chat. You need a crown guard, bro. A fat crown guard. Like what? Are you saying Kedrina is not your princess? You animal. The freak is wrong with you, man. Chivalry really is dead, huh? Freak that guy, guys. Freak that guy. Freak that guy, man. Alright, so we go, uh, so we go level 9, okay. We go level 9, right? Like, am I, am I really, okay, honestly, I should probably roll. I, I'm rolling, bro, I'm rolling. Look at this team, man. We're not playing freaking Kisante Headliner until, like, we're not playing this team until 9. There's no way, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose 50 health if I don't roll here. I'm gonna literally lose 50 health, bro. 50. Nah. We have to roll, man. We must roll. Holy frick. Oh, I have to buy this, right? I have to freaking buy this, man. Sag. shouldn't itemize Ezreal when I have 2-star 
when I have EDM headliner guy, right? I should probably give him the blue buff. But I need the Edge of Night Bloodthirster on him, low key. Like, I was even thinking about giving him the, the, the tank item. I was thinking about it. And you know what? If you say I'm wrong that I didn't, I think you're right, man. I think you're freaking right, man. I'll keep it a stack. It's not too big to fail, right? It's definitely not too big to fail. Submit to the pit. Come on, man. Stop trolling me, man. It's not this. Oh, long distance pals again. I mean, I guess I just replayed the game from a couple games ago. <laughs> Lolo! Okay, so I'm playing five hard steel for sure. I'm playing five hard steel for sure, and now we just go nine, right? We just go nine. We can kill enough units now to go nine. We can kill enough units to go nine. Uh, we just we just sack until chickens. Uh, we can kill enough units to not be dead completely. I really want to play this guy. I need to I need to I need to mark the guys. I need to mark the jazz units. Play jazz this game. We have Lucian already. Like we can even we can even win because our Zed is so strong. Okay, we're not winning. No, we are winning. Zed is so busted, man. Alright, uh, we just make 40. We're just going 9. GG. Bro, I, I guys, I love Zed so much. Zed, like, I'm telling you, man. Zed, like, I don't give a frick, guys, man. You know, like, if he wants it, he can get it. You feel me? Like, for, for him, like, frick it, man. Like, I like girls, but, like, who cares? Like, once, frick it. Once. Just once. Frick it. Just once for him, you know. If he wants it, like, I'll give it. Do I reforge this? Because this is just trash, right? Like, I want the item on the... Mm, I think I reforge this, right? Frick it. We can get Death's Defiance. <laughs> nah, bruv. Nah, man. That's not good, man. Like, what is that? I hope he can farm it. If he can farm it, it's okay. If he can actually farm two gold every turn, it's fine. I mean, if he ults, he can farm it. But the thing is, the enemies don't have enough damage to farm it. Like, the en enemies are not going to attack him 40 times. Actually, they will. They will. Look how many units we're killing. I don't think we can kill Akali. But we're killing so many units. And he's actually farming it. Wait, we killed Akali. We killed her. We killed her. Guys, Zed is so cool, man. Zed is the coolest. Like, seriously, man. He's so freaking cool. You see how effortless the game is when you play the bre broken comp? I, it's actually crazy. Zack. Need Zack too. Okay, so now what do we do, man? What do we freaking do? I think I'm getting this right. I want a Zack pair. Okay, I mean, I guess I just go belt. Uh, I, I need a Bloodthirster on Zed. I need a Bloodthirster on freaking Zed, guys. Okay, I mean, I, I'm still full HP. Do I just give him belt? Not really. Maybe it's Bloodthirster Sterox on Zed. Let's just wait. I'm not, I'm not polluting him. I, I I would give this to Poppy, but she's one star, right? If she was two star, we'd give it to her. Alright, long distance pals is beyond broken, by the way. It's actually so insane for this comp. It's so freaking good. This guy high rolls a freaking Cheers everyone, man! You're gonna freaking ask my chat, and then you're gonna high roll a freaking Kiana on eight! You mother trucker! Oh wait, you're going dead last! You have a country Katrina! What the frick are you doing, man? You needed a crowd diver, Kidrina. I mean, I guess he just low rolled, I guess, but that's deserved. It's deserved for me, because I need to win. Look, good loss, good loss. We get infinite cash out. Cash out value, GG. It's a forced. He just says cheers. <laughs> Alright, now what, guys? Now what? We're gonna ditch down to three hard steel. We need a uh, jazz. You like jazz? I like jazz, guys. I like jazz. 
We're probably not going to play uh, this guy. We're probably just going to play... Hmm, I mean, we could even ditch this guy and play Yilawi instead. If I don't hit two stars, Zach, I just ditch him uh, for the trades, right? Because if I, if I don't play... Like, if I play EDM, I can play two EDM. Like, two, three EDM does nothing. So I might as well just keep him as an EDM headliner. Yeah. And then we just roll down this turn. Or next turn. Do we sack one more? We probably sack one more. When is my cash out? In two? Yeah, we sack one more. We do it with the cash out. Sack one more. I have like 40 health. Probably less though. We'll have less than 40 health. Unless we win this. And this guy's kind of weak. He doesn't have Corky. Hey, he doesn't have Ezreal. But he's really weak, man. I still lose, but uh, it's a really good loss. So I can I can sack two more. Hey, one more, honey. I can easily sack one more. I'll have 40 health-ish. 35 health-ish. That's three lives. It's perfectly fine. All right, sack one more. Get the five hard steel juicer cash out. And then we just roll down. And we have the jazz units marked. And we're good to go. Because if I have EDM headliner, right? I want to play four EDM. So I would play Lux with Bard. But I would rather play Ziggs if I play 3 Jazz anyway with Bard, so yeah, yeah. Like if I'm level 9, I play Ziggs, right? Sword is good. Hopefully we get Bloodthirster. I mean, Guardbreaker is good. I mean, I don't have I don't have Magic Pen. It's pretty good. It's probably Gunblade, man. Or it's Edge of Night and Morello. I can see Edge of Night Morello. Yeah. Ah, probably, man. That's for sure better. And then who gets Morello? Kane for now. And then Ziggs. And then we have a good Morello guy. With Ziggs, we'll have a really good Morello guy, so it's fine. Just feels weird to not triple itemize my guy, right? But it's fine. This guy's also cooking cash outs. I feel like I'm cooking more, right? Does he have Heart Steel Headliner? He does. So he's 5 Heart Steel as well, doesn't he? Wow, I feel like I'm winning though. Alright, okay, we still we can keep five hard steel if we don't hit our legendaries. We have a lot of money though. We have a lot of money. Level 9 with like 40 gold, that's not bad. And we get hard steel cash out gold maybe. Oh no, we didn't get any gold. We just got items. Fast heart is good. And then Zonias. I mean, 2-star is 2-star, right? 2-star is 2-star. Okay, I mean, Morello goes on this guy. I, I, I'm pretty sure I reforged this guy. Yes! Um, maybe I should have gone for that on, on the Ezreal instead of Zed. So I get uh, lifesteal on Ezreal. I can see that. Morello on this guy. I, I get lifesteal on Zed, I mean. Ah! Lifesteal on Zed, probably better, right? I have no lifesteal augments. No lifesteal at all. It's kind of kind of risky. I need Ilawi. Sonia's on Kane. I know Sonia's on Kane is good, but the problem is... We don't really want to play the Kane. I need Ilawi, man. Right, nice. I get this finally. So how do I play this, man? For now, just this. Three Jazz. I need to play this guy as well somehow. Okay, I got the Lowey. He's not gonna get the, ex the isolation thing, but it's fine. I'm keeping this for for uh, the thing. I need to just ditch uh, ditch. Um... Do I ditch Yone? No. Like I need to keep Set. Set is Mosher as well. Uh, I'm playing this. I'm never playing this. I need to play Ziggs. Like he has, he has. He's giving us two trades, and like I need to play Ziggs somehow. But I'm not sure how. How do I play Ziggs? 
I just play without Lucian? I think I'm playing without Lucian. Which is crazy, right? That's too crazy. We go Hodge on Ezreal. It's perfectly fine, but I would rather have Trinity on Ezreal and Hodge on the guy. I mean, it's okay. It's more damage this way. It's fine. I mean, I feel like we want this 2-star Aphelios, man. And just ditch this, but we need Crowd Diver, right? We need Crowd Diver. We need Crowd Diver. We must have Crowd Diver. Like, that's, that's a must-have. I mean, I'm not gonna buy this trash for now. Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm really, like, there's no way I'm not playing Ziggs. I'm so dizzy. I, I can't, I don't want to ditch the Poppy, man. I should ditch the Poppy. It's just Mosher. But, like, the Poppy is a two-star. Like, I don't have enough frontline. I, I don't have enough frontline without Poppy, man. Trust me. Poppy is good. Poppy is good. I have to just lock this shop, right? I could sell him. It's fine. Okay, I, I mean, I guess, I guess we just play without Lucian. But playing without Lucian seems really freaking scuffed as well. Like, I definitely think it's 3 Jazz, bro. Like, what? I guess I just level for 3 Jazz. Like, I have so many trades, it's fine. Uh, I just level for 3 Jazz, I guess. And I, I should have bought a new set and moved the items to Poppy at this point, because then she would be really strong. I mean, I, 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 either way, I have to roll on 9, right? I have to roll on 9 still. I need 2-star uh, Ezreal. So I just sell Lucian, right? I need 2-star Ezreal, I need 2-star Ziggs. And I need 2-star um, I need two Lowey. I need 2-star Lowey for sure. I need to roll on 9 until then, I think. I might be wrong, though. Maybe it's correct to just go level 10 now, because I have 56 health. But I feel like these 56 health are going to disappear very quickly. If I don't make my team better every single turn, because everyone else is donkey rolling every turn, making their team better every single turn. So I feel like if I don't do that, I'm just going to go dead last. Right. I get only some money, that's kind of sad, but it's fine. I, I get a lot of money here. I need to scout how many Lowies are out of the pool. He has 2-star Kiana on level 8, that is pretty freaking filthy. This guy is not playing Ilawi. I mean, it's just one Ilawi. This guy has one, not, not on bench. And then this guy probably has one. He doesn't even have one. Uh, bro, I'm rolling down to zero. Like, what? Ilawi 2 for free here, for sure. Impossible to miss. Impossible to miss, man. Yorick 2 is better than Poppy 2. I mean, Ezreal, like, Jin is better than Ezreal. I just ditch Heart Steel? Sure, I cashed out enough, right? Like, what? Like, what the fr- Yeah, sure. Like, what? Okay, okay, I'm going level 9. Yeah, I'm going level 10, I mean. Like, what? Like, what am I even doing? It's just Warmogs, right? We don't care about Shojin on Ziggs. I think we just care about Frontline. Like, we have so much damage, there's no way we, do we lose. Um, the, the, the Jin cannot lose if we have enough Frontline. Okay, that's not true. Against this guy, I can lose because he can bypass frontline with his freaking uh, crowd divers. Crowd divers, but honestly, look at him. Nah, it's actually insane. I'm so strong, but he's ca farming items. Like he can low key win the game, but he can he can never get six crowd diver unless he high rolls the emblem here. Holy frick! I'm smorphing on this lobby, no? I should have bought a set. Like these items on Poppy would be insane, man. Also, I should put this here to have. And then even Shroud is on the wrong side, but I have to, right, because of the thing. And then oh, I should just frontline this, man. This guy does nothing. Just frontline him as well. Put this trash. All right, let's go. I mean, there's no way, man. I have such a Giga Cap board. Like, look at this, man. Check Jazz value, it's good. But it's just, like, like look how many trades. I only lost Heart Steel, right? With playing Jin. I only lost Heart Steel. So I have infinite traits, but it's just two jazz, so it's not that insane, right? It's only 12% uh, health and 8% damage, but still, it's like it's still the best trait I have here. Like, it's so crazy how much how much value it gives to your team. 
Oh, he got third. It's not even bad. Alright, we're 1v1 now. Like, the thing is, if I lose some fights now, I can still go level 10, right? So it's good to keep money because this guy is strong. Because I don't have Lucian. I'm not playing around Lucian. He's playing around Lucian. I'm playing around Ziggs instead. And Lucian is actually better. Like, Lucian is so strong. And he hits 2-star Lucian now. So it's really freaking strong. Like, I, I might lose this fight. And maybe one more. But who cares? I'm going level 10, right? Like, I can't die. Even if I lose these three fights, if I lose them, it's very close. So I can always level after the Elder Dragon, add another Legendary, add a Lucian, and then it's just GG, right? I, I can't lose them. I get three Jazz, I can't lose. Also, he's playing three Jazz as well, which is huge, but yeah. Like, he's not playing Zed, right? That's why his team is more uh, streamlined, I guess. Oh, yeah, we still win. GG. These are... Look at this Zed. You see how strong Zed is, man? I feel like the fight is so so fast. It doesn't even matter that he doesn't have Omnivamp because Edge of Night saves him. And that's already enough, right? Edge of Night is already enough to keep him alive for like a couple more seconds. And he just kills everyone, man. <laughs> it's just such a good unit. We will take you guys. Subscribe and notification bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the YouTube algorithm so I can get some more views. I'll see you next time.